Well, hello. Happy St. Patrick's Day. This is Father Alan coming to you from St. Francis of Assisi Parish. Hanging out with St. Francis, my guy. And wishing all of you St. Francis of Assisi parishioners a splendid St. Patrick's Day. So, we are kicking this off. I'm not a YouTuber. I don't do YouTube videos, but I do it for you. So today, in our first reading today, we have from the book of Daniel. A prophet. So we're going to be doing these daily reflections uh, until this corona stuff passes, hopefully. And in our first reading today from Daniel, chapter 3, verse 25, verses 34 through 43, we hear about Azariah. Azariah, who is living during a time of the Babylonian persecutions. The Babylonians have invaded Israel, have captured the Israelites, and taken them to Babylon. And so Azariah, Hananiah, and Mishael also known by their Babylonian names of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, make their way rising up through the ranks of King Nebuchadnezzar's court. And King Nebuchadnezzar says, Hey, look, all of you need to worship the god Dura. And Azariah, Hazariah, and Mishael say that three times fast, say, mm, uh-uh, we're people of Israel. We are not going to do that. So instead, the king orders that they be killed and the way in which he says they should be killed is by being thrown into a red-hot furnace that, according to the story, it says it was seven times hotter than any other fire. So they are thrown into the fire. And the story is meant to be sort of like a legend. It, not only does is it's meant to be a story to help us in difficult moments. And so Azariah, we hear in our first reading, is crying out from the fire and says to God, for your name's sake, O Lord, do not deliver us up forever, or make void your covenant. It's a pretty bold statement by Azariah. He's saying to God, essentially, hey, we believe in you. And for your own sake, show your power right now in this moment. And he's saying, the next sentence, do not take away your mercy from us for the sake of Abraham, your beloved, Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your holy one. So he's essentially saying, we know you have been faithful in the past, so be faithful to us now. Kind of a fitting reading for us as we are going through this corona craziness. A great reminder that in the midst of our trials, in the midst of the fire that we are experiencing now, we can pray boldly like Azariah and say, God, we know you have been faithful in the past, and we ask you to be faithful now. What's amazing about this story is we hear, as they are thrown into the furnace, these three great men of faith, there is one that is there with them, who appears as the Son of Man. Psst, that's going to be Jesus. So, a sign to us that in the midst of our trials, in the midst of our struggles, Christ is with us in the midst of it, dancing there with us every step of the way. May God bless you.